What up, it's Melvin7 here. Today I'm bringing you the first Foot Champions rewards of FIFA 21. Last year I didn't really get anything in reds. Uh, up until the team of the season, my best card was Hummels, 90 rated, who was obviously unusable. Um, and then I can't remember what my best team of the season was. It certainly wasn't one of the elite ones. Anyhow, we finished in Division 1 for rivals, but we only got rank 3. Uh, I wasn't able to play too many of my... Um, my games, uh, hmm. oh, should I take untradeable? I like coins. Uh, I'm going to take tradable. I'm going to stick with my guns and take tradable. But yeah, I wasn't able to play too many of my rivals games before champs came around. And then obviously you kind of capped. So I, <laughs> there's not a lot I can do. To nobody's surprise, I've been relegated to Division 2. Uh, I'm not a Division 1 standard player. And uh I don't know how the hell I got up there, but any, <laughs> anyhow, I managed to. But we finished in gold two on 18 wins, which is only two off what I was hoping for in gold one. Hopefully, I can get that next week. I, I'm quite happy with that finish. Uh, last year, I kind of uh, was around silver one, gold three. Obviously, the two red picks I'm sure everyone wants is Rashford and Werner. Me being a United fan, of course, I'd prefer Rashford, but I wouldn't say no to a Werner. <sighs> Come on, please give me something good. So here's the first one. Ibrahimovic isn't bad. You know what? Ibrahimovic is not bad. I will take that. Um, you know, for a Syria squad, I know he's got horrendous pace. Like, horrendous. But 90 shooting, 80 passing, 80 uh, physical and 81 dribbling. Not too bad. Come on, Rashford, please. Please. You know what? That Again, that's not too bad. I, I can't complain with that. It's not Rashford. I didn't think I'd get Rashford, even though I asked for him. But this Delaney card, low high, 80 pace, 86 uh, defending, 85 physical. That is an immaculate card. I'm happy with that. Those are good reds, to be honest. It means I've got a decent Serie A player and a very good Bundesliga centre-back. So, you know what? I can't complain. Now, I would advise anyone watching this video to not open their rewards until tomorrow at 6 when the new promo drops. Uh, the name was revealed and I can't for the life of me remember. Oh, Rule Breakers. So when Rule Breaker comes out, you want to be uh, opening your packs then because one to watches are not in packs despite what EA kind of misled and kind of... The way they had it is that these packs would be uh, sorry one to watch team one and two would be in packs from the 22nd of uh, the 21st of october until the friday but that isn't the case so if you do end up packing why is this untradeable oh no it's not i was gonna say i didn't take untradeable rewards I'm gonna keep all the tifos because of uh i never know what the other um objectives are gonna be but yeah uh, basically one to watches aren't in packs anymore which I think is a little bit of a piss take really uh, they could have kept them in for two days uh, you know both teams would have been nice anyhow the 35k pack I haven't had a board on this account in so long I had that mad day of luck that one mad day of luck where I got Van Dijk I got Neymar I got two one to watches since then every other day has just been ass like absolutely ridiculous I'm getting nothing whatsoever um so, you know, I'd take another insane day, yeah? that would be brilliant. You know, just uh, let me know that informs are still in packs. I probably shouldn't have discarded those. That was kind of dumb, but hey-ho. Because I think the UCL um, upgrade packs are coming later. Right, there we go. Finally a board. Yay. Is that an inform board? Spanish goalkeeper. Nobody gives a fuck. It might as well not be a board. <laughs> um but yeah, I would save your rares. Oh, it is an inform. Okay. We also get Berkey, who is another goalkeeper board. Um, so yeah, I, keep your rares because the likelihood is the UCL uh, cards, will uh, like the upgrades, will require you to have 11 rare gold. So it, it's always worth stocking up on them. I think that's, that's going to be what I do. Uh, look at this trash, man. That's a 55k pack. Not even a board. Emery Chan's okay, or he was last week. He's probably 4K now, but uh, we'll see. We do get a UCL card, thankfully, so I can finish that UEFA marquee matchups. It's rare as well, good. So I can put him in the in the SBC, although it might be smart to sell him, to be honest. But anyhow, here we go. Our last pack, 
for our foot rivals rewards can we get a walkout to end it off we can't and we get a board Ugh. Rashford is obviously in form so it just doesn't matter Visca is he 83 this year or is he 84 oh my god this is ass this is absolutely ass we get Gundogan, we get Ruben Diaz, we get another Champions League rare card, which is good. Because I can sell that one for sure. How much are they going for at the minute? Not much, because everyone's obviously, you know, opening their, their champs rewards. But there we go. Ooh, is that still selling? Probably not. Eh. Eh, not really. I've kind of missed the boat on that one. But they might do another Dortmund one, who knows. Anyhow, hopefully your reward... My red picks were really good. I can't lie. The red picks were actually pretty decent. But um, in terms of the rest of the packs, they were whack. Save your packs until tomorrow. Let me know if you do and what you get. And yeah, peace.